And we're live with season five of the finals. The next stage. In this video, we're going to be hopping into all of the patch notes, everything new. We're going to hop into the game, look at the shop, the battle pass, all the cosmetics in the game, and that'll be the video. So let's get into it. Let's get right into it, huh? New map, Bernal. Bernal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that map. Gorgeous. Two new guns. The Shack 50 for the heavy and the Cerberus 12 GA for the medium class. Shack 50 hits, shoots two bullets at a time, has a 20 round mag. Cerberus has three shots and then you got to reload. And it also has incendiary rounds. Pretty sick. Gravity Vortex for the light as a gadget and lock bolt launcher for the heavy as a gadget. They're both kind of similar. They they like produce an AOE chaining, sucking, slurping effect. So like the gravity vortex, you put it down, you activate it. It sucks everything in in the radius. Lock bolt launcher, you shoot it out of the launcher and it attaches to enemies. I don't know if it attaches to items and stuff. I think it might just be enemies. But it like keeps them in a certain radius. Pretty epic. New sights and reduced visual recoil. Following weapons will be receiving sights in Season 5. M26 Matter, Cerberus, Shack, 93R, Lewis Gun, Model, and LH1. That's crazy. Sponsors, Assault is back. You know we're going back with Assault. Via, and then Disson. Basically, what, what do you want? Blue cosmetics, white cosmetics, or red cosmetics, red and black. Uh, I'm going back with my boy, Yun Byung Suk. With his ult. Let's get it. We got clubs now. Club bonus XP. Club wall. Team up requests. Daily club contracts. Two contracts per day. Club rank. 50 members per club. Different ranks. Different roles. The owner leads the club. The manager helps coordinate members. The scout handles recruitment. Bring in new talent to strengthen the team. Finals greatest hits. You can now choose what music you want to listen to in the lobby. Upgraded console experience. Wow. That's nice. That's nice. 120 hertz on PS5, PS5 Pro, Xbox Series X. Unfortunately, I'm on the Xbox Series S. So, want want. Time to play Santa Claus. Gifting. You can now gift items to people. You can gift the battle pass. You can gift five gifts per day. Beautiful. Balance changes. Let's see. We got a lot of balance changes. Updated the hit sweeps for quick melee attacks, making them much more reliable when trying to hit targets. Gadgets. Defibrillator. This is huge. Defibrillator change. Added a revive sickness. The player is revived by the defibrillator, causing their specializations and gadgets to be placed on a 5 second cooldown. Makes sense. Great change. Jump pad. Increased cooldown from 30 seconds to 40 seconds. What? God dang. Jump pad got dog. Proximity sensor. Added the ability to, for medium to contestants to equip the proximity sensor. Smoke grenade. Added the smoke grenade for heavy and medium. We can go triple triple team smoke. No matter what, no matter what classes you have. That's wild. Sonar. Decreased active duration. From 7.5 to 5.2 seconds. Decrease time between sonar pulses. So it pulses faster, but it lasts less time. Zipline. Increased cooldown from 30 to 37 seconds. Dang. Medium's getting dogged in this update. Quick cash update. Respawn system to wave based. When the first player on a team is eliminated, a respawn timer for the entire team starts to count down. Interesting. Okay, okay. That'll make it faster, more casual. I like that. Out of the ability to swap your contestant between team wipes. <clears throat> That's awesome. Kyoto maps. Let's see, Kyoto. Adjusted the map border to improve the flow in the hillside area. Okay. So maybe they, they push it out a little bit more. Uh, redesigned the bamboo forest to improve readability and flow while reducing visual noise. Huge. 
So they got rid of some bamboo. Cloaking device specialization. Updated the cloaking device to consume energy based on the player's current movement speed. While cloaked, meaning that standing still drains energy much more slowly than running or sprinting. That's smart. Remove the ability for burning damage to break the cloaking effect. Remove the ability for poison damage to break the cloaking effect. Interesting. Mesh shield. Rework the mesh shield to make it energy based. The shield has 750 energy in total and loses energy each time it takes damage. A sum of 225 energy is also lost each time the player lowers the shield. With energy only being regenerated when the mesh shield has not taken damage for a short time, the mesh shield no longer has a cooldown. With energy management replacing it. That's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Weapons. 9-3-R. Increased damage from 24 to 28. Four hole damage. Decreased horizontal recoil after third burst. Making the gun easier to control. Decreased vertical recoil slightly to make the gun easier to control. Increased the damage fall off start range from 23 to 28. So basically the 9-3-R is just like good now? Increased the damage fall off multiplier at max range from 45% to 55% meaning the weapon will do more damage at a longer range. Dual blades. Look at all these changes for dual blades. What? Basic attack. Increase the speed and duration of, of the lunge for each attack animation, making it easier to reach targets that are just out of range. Deflect. Decrease the dispersion angle of deflected bullets from 2.5 to 1, meaning deflected bullets are now more accurate. Decrease the damage modifier for direct hits from any enemy bullets from 0.2 to 0.1, meaning players will now take less damage when deflecting hits. At the center of the blades, deflect the angle. Decrease the damage modifier for glancing hits from enemy bullets from 0.4 to 0.3, meaning players will now take less damage when deflecting hits at the edge of the blades. Deflection angle. Increase deflection angle from 25 degrees to 35 degrees, making it easier to block and deflect bullets. Decrease incoming melee damage modifier from 0.33 to 0.25, meaning players will take less damage from melee attacks when trying to deflect. Interesting. The revolver, decreased bullet dispersion when firing from the hip by approximately 20%, making the weapon more accurate. Dang. Spear, basic attack. Increase the lunge distance from 6 to 7.5 meters on basic attacks, making it easier to hit enemies. Increase the lunge speed by approximately 50%. Increase lunge cancel on basic attacks, causing the player to come to rest earlier once they hit the target. Secondary attack, increase the damage of each swing from 100 to 105. Yo, they just like buff spear, they buff dual blades, increase ammo count from 30 to 34 for the XP, they buffed XP, they buffed the revolver, buffed the 93R, they're changing the meta. Weapon optics, decrease the amount of animated visual recoil significantly on all red dot optics across all weapons that can equip them, making those weapons easier to aim. Effect, content and bug fixes, animation. Fix an issue where the player's character could perform deform when respawning. I like that though. It was like a it was like a little like warp, you know? It was fun. Fix an issue where the player could ride zip lines while emoting at the same time. That's funny. Fix an issue where the player would trigger multiple pickup animations when attaching to a zip line when picking up a deployable item. Improve first person animations when running with a charge throwable such as a grenade. Cleaned up some visual noise that could occur in first person animations with sliding and aiming down sights. Fix a minor clipping issue on the SR84. Fix an issue where hand gesture animations could play while blocking with dual blades. Audio. Fix an issue where some players could persist after they are eliminated. Add an entirely new voice to DD's face. Keep up or stay out of the way. Added 30 additional career ranks, but they're just like medals, they're not like cosmetics. Unfortunate. Contracts and achievements. Fix an issue that could cause any contracts that required headshots to complete it. Complete to progress via backstabs with the dagger by mistake. Fix an issue that caused interrupted decryptions in terminal attack mode to not count toward the as a team. Steal a cash out or interrupt decryptions end times contract. Fix an issue where where the finish the tutorial achievement would fail to trigger when completing the cash out tutorial. On controller, increased default horizontal sensitivity from 160 to 200. Increased default vertical sensitivity from 130 to 170. What? Increased max horizontal and vertical sensitivity from 500 to 750, giving players more flexibility of what sensitivity they like to play with. 
gadgets. Gateway will now destroy surrounding goo when activated. Oh, gravity vortex. Deployable remote triggered localized singularity added to the light class. Jump pad. Fix an issue where players could use and pick up the jump pad at the same time. Lock bolt launcher. An anchor that latches onto up to three targets added to the heavy class. Thermal vision. Fix an issue causing cloaked characters to be overly bright for players using thermal vision on the PS5 Pro and on PC when the TSR resolution scaling method was selected. Game modes. General game mode moment. Added a warning trigger with a five second wait time before allowing the player to exit an ongoing match early. Our goal is to reduce disconnect rates, which could ruin matches for other players. Fix an issue where the UI would not behave as expected when backfilling into a match. Fix a rare issue. The players would be unable to spawn when backfilled into a match. Bank it. Fix an issue that caused coins to block projectiles. That's pretty funny. Power shift. Fix an issue where weapon customization would not get updated when players swapped contestant in power shift mode. Private matches. Added cash out. Final round to private matches. This is the 3v3 format from the final round of tournaments. That's pretty sweet. Gameplay. Fix an issue that caused players on zip lines to not be detached when hitting goo blobs. Fix an issue where poisonous gas. Could wrongly block various interactions and projectiles. Fix an issue that allows players to pick up objects while emoting. Maps. Fix various behavioral issues with doors and how they function. Added two new visual variants of destroyed walls and improved material coverage where buildings have been fractured or destroyed. When Kyoto made various optimizations to client performance when playing Kyoto. Good, good. Performance and stability. Fix an issue on the client side that could cause performance issues. Fix an issue where volumetric fog could cause ghosting around the edges of the screen on Xbox Series S and on PC. With shadow quality set to medium. Many optimizations for PS4 and the 120Hz console mode. Settings. Added a new graphics quality settings for reflections. Added 120Hz mode for Xbox Series X, PS5, and PS5 Pro. For social, added incognito mode for players who want to protect themselves when streaming. This feature randomizes players' matchmaking queue, time to help avoid stream snipers, and will also hide identifying features such as rank score and the player's own screen. Interesting. Huh. Club features added, allowing players to form clubs with up to 50 members, complete daily club contracts, and more. Added the inbox accessible in the top right of the main menu. This feature allows us to send players direct messages about important things happening in the game and in individual accounts. Specializations. Evasive dash. Fix an issue where glitch effects could interrupt an evasive dash that was already in progress, changing the length of the dash. Grappling hook. Fix an issue introduced in 4.8 that accidentally caused the grappling hook to break glass surfaces rather than stick to them. Perfect. I was so annoyed I couldn't get grapple on glass anymore. UI. Updated the play button, making it easier to understand where to queue and where to switch modes. Distinguish in the inventory HUD that caused it to look like player could equip an item when they could not fix an issue that could sometimes cause the player to be stuck with namatama hints on the main menu every time they return to that screen updated the new label shown in front end menus to make it less intrusive overhauled the voip system to make it more consistent and reliable including some fixes to ensure it better respects player settings weapons cerberus new triple barrel yep yep general fix issues and a lock state of the blah, 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 blah. fix an issue that caused glitch grenades to not detonate on impact with dome shields and mesh shields. That's good. Track 50 new assault rifle for the heavy class. Spear fix an issue with the secondary attack, which could cause players within range of the swing not to be hit. Insecurity new and enhanced aimbot detection, new detection rules for unfair gameplay added. Hardware restriction capabilities will now be implemented. Added additional levels of game obfuscation all right them's the patch that was a long patch 12 14 minutes 14 minutes of patch now we're gonna hop in to the finals let's freaking go sinking data all right oh New intro. New intro connecting screen. Gold shimmering the finals. This like weird ominous calming music. 
Season 4 Gilded Enforcer Legendary Skin. Season 4 Platinum Peak Legendary Skin. Season 4 Diamond Legendary Sticker. Season 4 Diamond Legendary Weapon Charm. Season 4 Shine Legendary Skin. Celestial Facet Legendary Background. Season 4 Prismatic Valor Legendary Emblem. Season 4 Emerald. Season 4 Emerald Legendary Weapon Charm. Season 4 <laughs> Emerald Prime Legendary Skin. Emerald Elevation Legendary Background. Emerald Prime Legendary Skin. Emerald Authority Legendary Emblem. Emerald Prime Legendary Skin. Holy frick! Let's get it! it! We've had one whole year of high octane action, jaw dropping plays, and absolute mayhem. It's been a wild ride for sure, Scotty, and we're just getting started. This season, we're introducing. Gloves. Sorry, June. I'm just too excited about this. Finally, contestants can hit the arenas as part of a community. Whether you're building rivalries, climbing the ranks, or just having fun, you can now leave your mark together. And what better way to build that legacy than with some new gadgets? The brand new Lock Vault is looking particularly game-changing, locking the fight where it happens, while the Gravity Vortex pulls everything and everyone into absolute chaos. Then there's the arsenal. The Shack 50 is built for those close quarters brawls. And that Cerberus shotgun, triple barrels loaded with dragon breath rounds. It's pure devastation in your hands. And the best place to put all this new gear to the test? Bernal. This breathtaking new arena features low rooftops and wide courtyards, making it a playground for strategic ambushes and unexpected turnarounds. But that's not all. Our world tour is heating up with two new sponsors stepping in, hoping to challenge last season's returning fan favorite, Izzult. This season is packed with excitement, including an incredible lineup of fresh cosmetics to keep you turning heads and dominating the arena in style. The stakes are higher and the competition is fiercer than ever. Let's make this anniversary season one to remember. Season five of the finals starts now. Beautiful. Well, hello there. It's me, June. Hey, June. You've made quite the impression on our sponsors with your performance. They're asking you to sign a sponsorship deal. Pick one sponsor and support them all season long. Earn fans to unlock their exclusive gear. Gotta run. It's showtime. Ooh, the music. All right, we're going to go through all the items of the Battle Pass really quick so this video is not like 30, 40, 50 minutes long. Here's a new sniper. We got some multi-bucks. Sticker. Final Fiesta. Multi-bucks. Cerberus, the new shotgun. Flower. It looks so, it looks so clean. It's like ceramic. It's like, it's beautiful. We got this ceramic looking doggy charm. What's his name? Ceramic pup. Border brilliance. We got a little ceramic border for our player cards. The Shack 50 ceramic. Beautiful. Hats off. Sticker. More bucks. We got a nice. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, frick. What was that? What, what, what was that? What did I just see? I just saw something. Oh, I got this Zolt border, I think. Oh, that's cool. They add they added the uh, season four medal to your arsenal of medals badges. I mean, so you can put that on and show everyone how epic you did in season four. I mean, we gotta put on the diamond. Like, that looks clean. That looks silly. Oh my god. With the... Yo, I'm like getting sidetracked here, but... I think we go with Zolt Border, right? Maybe we go white. Maybe we go... Oh, I think I'm gonna go white there. That looks beautiful. All right, we gotta put on our our blank skin so we can show off this battle pass properly. 
Alright. Alright, alright. Back to it, back to it, back to it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Bernal Brush. Look at that mustache. Sheesh. That is a mustache right there. That is a mustache. God dang. We got to inspect the animation for the Cerberus shotgun, the brand new shotgun. Chamber check. We got currency. We got a nice model skin. Woo! That's clean, though. That's so clean. Pueblo power. A model uh, inspect animation. That's a fun animation, bro. Fairy twirl. And this. Yo, like. That is so clean. Look at that hat. Look at the cape. Look at the shoes. Nah, that 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 goes hard. That goes hard. A hot pepper. A habanero. Spicy survivor. The spice formula. Spray. Savage spice sticker. More multi bucks. Scorched lenses. We got fire in the eyes. Those are sick. Hot temper. Little emoji thing. Habanero. Pepper charm. And this, bro. Like, color. Color combustion. Flamethrower. That's a pepper, bro. Like, this game goes crazy. It's a freaking pepper, dude. Strum of soul. Oh. Strum of solace. Little guitar. Charm. Little band uh, emoji there. Free. No, not free. Uh, multi bucks. A spray. The banda beat. Little little back bling action. Guitar back bling. Some multi bucks. A nice emote. And so I think this emo, you use multiple instruments. Okay, maybe not. So when I inspect it, it does the, it does the trumpet. But when I just look at it normally on this, it does the guitar. But there's a guitar, maracas, and a trumpet. It looks like. So I bet you can combo these three emotes, or the same, this one emote with three people and do all different uh, instrument playing. Emoticon, background, charm, multi bucks, tactile tango reload animation for this, the F car here. Beautiful reload, look at that reload. Spin the freaking mag, gorgeous. An emote. Oh. What Bane does to Batman. Rudo Rumble. And then underhand tactician. Freaking. Luchador. El Primo. Now you can really be El Primo, dude. That's crazy. The capes, bro. They're rocking the capes this season. That's a beautiful background. Holy moly. Little cactus charm. That's a cute charm. Little sticker. Cactus sticker. Potted protector. Little cactus on your butt. Currency. Spray that says your name in the cactus. This shot, bro. This skin is goaded. Look at this skin. It's beautiful. It's a cactus shotgun. It's a cactus shotgun. So cool. Axolotl charm. Adorable. Axolotl sticker. Goo to go. A goo gun inspect animation. Doink. 
Uh, we got some axolotl tattoos here. It's cute. That's cute. Our currency, we got a lot of bubbles. Background. Gil giggles. Axolotl mask. Helmet. So adorable. Hilarious. Sweet surprise. Sticker. Multi bucks. Happy days. Background. Big swing. Emote. What? There's no candy in there. Nothing came out. Burst of fun. Emote. Emoticon. A charm. Pinata charm. The Pinata Shack 50. Oh, I love this is the page, yo. This is the page. A nice flowery skull charm. Final toss, a little bouquet. Bouquet on your back. The departed dance. That's fun. Multi bucks. Sticker. Spirit shift body paint. Yo, look at that. That is so good. That's like that's like the one we got for the Halloween event, but cooler. Cause you got the arm bones. Like and the like the bones on the body is so cool, man. Background. And then the soul survivor. Probably one of my favorite skins in this battle pass. Like, that is gorgeous. That's a gorgeous skin. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that headpiece. That is so cool. XP 40, 54, 54, 54. Wild pattern. More currency, sticker, jagged essence, the dualies, wild pattern, spirit of the hunt, border, currency, prowler lenses, the eye of the tiger, literally, famous, wild pattern, we got the eternal keeper charm, we got Cycle of Ages background. They got a lot of backgrounds. They look nice. Multi bucks. Sticker. Gesture. Crush a rock into a little into the little, little this little guy. More currency. Emblem. My ancient mark. Kitten keeper. It's like a sundial watch. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty unique. We have the Prowler's Relic Weapon Charm. Multi Bucks. Sticker. Sacred Shadow Body Paint. Look at that. Oh my god. So tribal. So tribal. Multi Bucks. Spray. Obsidian Bite Sword. Look at those obsidian scales on that thing. And then finally, Wild Herald in the main pass. That's a cool looking skin, bro. That, that like mask, the helmet alone is just so cool. And then we have the bonus pages here with Trentilla, a new sponsor, I'm pretty sure. With the Trentilla pepper, green pepper variant of the flamethrower. Flavor Extinct Top. The Fum or no, the Shack 50 with the all green pinata. The Sundial Watch, but green Trentilified. And then Ultimate Harvest. The full outfit. Which this is interesting to me, right? So they have 98. They have tier 98, right? Which is the top in the cape but then they just you just get the top of the cape again with the whole suit 
so why is why is this its own tier? I don't get that. It doesn't make any sense. If you're gonna get it with this, why is it wasting a tier here? Right? Right? I don't know. That's silly. We have the model Ivada model. We got two uh, two nice model skins. Ivada body paint variant. Ivada warden top. The Ivada variant of the sword, the obsidian club. And the Ivada Mayan mask all blacked out. That is cool, man. Let's uh, take a gander at the store. We got Northbound Rebel. Look at this guy. Beautiful. The Ho Ho hat. The hair, the white hair. The Holiday Havoc vest. North Pole, 90 degrees, Santa, F Santa Fidelis, Present Protector Beard, Frosted Beard and Eyebrows and all the mu mustache and beautifulness, Glasses, Precision Shades, Festive Forager, Pants, Beautiful man, Midnight Kickers, Gift of Chaos, Prize drop, charm, north pole arm. That is hilarious. Evergreen ink. It says nice on that knuckle. Does it say naughty on the other? It does. It says naughty on the other hand. Xmas on the neck. Bunch of snowflakes on the head. Ho, ho, ho. North pole. Snow globe. Beautiful. Ho Ho Havoc. Sticker. Spray from Santa to enemy player. Beautiful. We got Didi finally in the game after all these years. Wow. Didi's mask. Didi's mask. Didi's mask. Didi herself. Didi's makeup. Didi's iconic cut. Didi's vest. Got that off spooze drip. Icon's guard. Helmet. Wrist strap. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Weightlifting gloves. Didi's tights. Didi's pathfinders. Ospoo's stompers. Legend flex. Her classic pose. From the art we've seen her in with the case and the pistol. Interesting, right? They don't like usually for like prop guns and stuff. They have they give like a cardboard variant, but this one they did an actual revolver. Stuff like that, where I'm confused, bro. The final verdict: revolver skin. Gorgeous. Edie's case charm. Final greeting. See you in the finals. XOXO Edie. Serenade Slayer set. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Ballad Brim. Soul Harmony Ink. This is funny. Like, we have like pretty much this exact same thing in the Battle Pass, but the face art is a little different, right? It's like the same body art, but the face art is different for this one. Cor Corrido, Corrido Hero Jacket. That is nice. That's fancy. 
Harmony Breaker. Guitar on the back. Corrido Hero Pants. Nice. Tradition. Shredders. Those are clean. Those are clean. Fabled Forge Bow. Encrusted with these gemstones. Gilded with this silver flower pattern. Beautiful. Fable Forged. Shotgun. Same same deal. And the Pike. Beautiful. Ice Capade Flurry. Snowman Head. Winter Channel Set. Got some Winter Jammies. The fire on the TV. So great. So good. Covered in lights. Fireside focus top with the lights. And the jack and the sweater. Looks cozy. The sweats. And the socks and sandals. Frostbite set. Got a little snowman buddy on your shoulder. Little, little snowman guy. Commander Chill. And then Frost Buddy sticker. Merry loadout set. Bunch of things in here. New weapons. Sweaterified. The Cerberus. The Lock Bolt Launcher. Silent Knight. Vortex thing. I forget what it's called. Gravity Vortex. The Shack 50. And Stocking Stuffer Charm. Beautiful. TNT Tactics Set. Yo, this is a crazy skin. The C4 Weapons. The C4 Gadget Skin is just a bundle of dynamite. And a little, like, charge presser thing. Like, that is just so cool. And then Dynamite Charm. And then we have the XP54 animations. Might have to get these. Pull out animation. Normal reload. Uh, when you're fully out of ammo, you dump a mag, that's the reload. And then ammo audit, inspect. Might have to cop this. Might have to cop this. I got that diamond XP now. Beautiful. I don't see the uh, the ice ones, the ice skins that they showed in the test. Interesting. 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 We got a new jacket, a Holto jacket for free, I think. Season four sponsor showdown winner. Oh. Holto won the season for showdown in the finals of the world tour. So everyone got the Holto sweatshirt. I mean, Isult should have won, right? I mean, they should have. And then I got the season four emerald and the season four diamond badge. Cool, man. Well, I think that's, like, everything, really, right? Ooh, that Vaya hand cannon's hard. Holy frick. So we get a Vaya uh, revolver skin for completing these quests. Career. I mean, we're going Azalt. We're renewing our contract with Azalt. We have to, bro. Double down on your sponsor. Show your appreciation. Your sponsor is boosting your progress in the in last season's loyalty tier for any unclaimed rewards. I mean, we claimed it all, bro. We got it. We got it all. Let's go. Yeah, I think Azult's going to be the lowest one, though, this season because it was already last season, so there's not as many people going to be picking it. Which I get. The club. Someone invited me to the club. 
who's in the club? Who's whose club is this? Who's the owner? Who's the owner of this club? Mr. Nobody. I don't know. I feel like I gotta make my own club, right? I feel like I gotta do that. I think I'm gonna make my own club. Alright, well. This video is way too long. This video is way too freaking long. Um, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been my Season 5 update video. Hope you all enjoy Season 5, and I'll see you next week for the first update of the season.